it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to the special edition of Thirsty Thursdays because Paul has got a very interesting treat, a very expensive treat. What is it, Paul? It's Kopi Luwak. And explain to the fine people what Kopi Luwak is. The flower is the coffee bean. <laughs> it's been... not. What's that? It's not the f no, it, they eat the flowers, which contains the coffee bean. Oh, okay. And they, right. the uh, civet cat then defecates, and they collect the feces. And where is this? In Indonesia. Indonesia. So, so these are the beans. So they look like regular coffee beans. Well, because then they, the process, they, they wash, clean, take the outer right. skin off, and then roast it like regular. <gasps> That's like $8. That is a $400 coffee bean. <laughs> so... A pound of this stuff is four hundred and eighty dollars Canadian. Well, that's what it would have worked out to. Right. So but he, you, he only bought four ounces and then split it with a friend. Yes. Uh, from work. So two ounces, which is not much, was sixty-five dollars. There we go. So we're going to grind some of this up. Yes. And then we're going to brew it on yes. with this. What's this called? We're going to brew that with the mocha pot. The mocha pot. And then I've he's already some ground Starbucks. some Starbucks. We're going to do it in in the drip. You just read something on the internet as to how you're supposed to even drink it. Like no coffee, yeah, it says I no, mean, no cream, no cream, no sugar, nothing to adulterate your, your Just coffee. black coffee. Just black coffee. Let's do it. Okay. Go. That's it? <laughs> That's what I paid $65 That's for. crazy. Show it. Oh my gosh. Two ounces of coffee. Don't Aye. drop it. Ay caramba. Paul drops it down the sink. <laughs> Ooh. Don't let anything fall. <gasps> smells like coffee. Really? Like regular coffee. Unbelievable. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do, Kenny. I put uh, water in there, we do six cups. And we'll fire that one up. So what we'll do is we'll try the Kopi Luwak first and we'll sort of describe what we're tasting if if we're able to. Like I love coffee, so I'm just curious what? as to what my 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 feelings will be on it. So what we'll could we what could we do between sips to cleanse our palate so we're not muffing things up? Shots. Shots of, of alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> It'll just get crazy then, won't it? It will. And this is the Kopi. Oh, it's going into that thing. Okay, I'm just going to close this up because I'm afraid to spill it. We'll fire that up. So now we got two sets of coffee going. We'll just give it another sniff. And where did you buy it from? It was at Pusateri's. And what is that? So that is, it's a, it's a higher end grocery chain. There's, okay. uh, I think there's three of them. And this one was at uh, Bayview and um, Shepherd. Okay. So that was that was that. That's a little bag for a little a, bag, sixty-five bucks. Well, I know one hundred and thirty. Well, right, I split right. it. So four ounces. That's uh, definitely the most expensive coffee I've ever purchased. Yes. In comparison, we have two and a half pounds, <laughs> and I think I paid twenty something for right. it. Mid twenty, twenty-four, twenty-five for that. Okay, the coffee has finished percolating. So we've got the drip coffee and then we've got the other gizmo. Which one do you want to try first? Well, we pour three and three and then we can start with the Kopi Luwak. Let's do it. And then we'll do the other uh, the Starbucks there. So the first three will be Kopi. And Marc Andre has joined us. It actually smells pretty good. It, does, it smells like all coffee smells good though. That's true. Are you expecting it to smell like shit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Possibly. We should juggle them around. No, see. because we actually I can actually tell. Is it the lighting? I do see a slight difference in color. I don't see anything. No. You see anything? It looks like coffee to me. Okay, the, so the this is Starbucks. Is the and this is the Kopi. So mark on it. Let's do Kopi. Give you a Kopi. This is this is a big deal, guys. This is a very expensive coffee. Oh yeah. I've never had Cheers. expensive coffee like this. And it's like crazy hot too. Cheers. Yes. Don't uh, no burning in the face. It smells great. Very, very powerful. Very, taste. very bitter. Almost, it almost has. Um, uh, I'm not you say very bitter. It's not supposed to be bitter at all. Well, coffee's bitter for everybody, isn't it? No, Co that's that's the that's the whole allure with um, Kopi Luwak is that there's it's not supposed to have the bitterness of regular coffee because in the digestive system, the proteins of their stomach acids 
are eating the proteins off of the bean, which which causes, I think they said, um, what would be the amino acid? Something that the process is supposed to be make it so it's not as bitter. That tastes bitter to me. Mm -hmm. So the Kopi Luwaks are liars. Even bean. Does it taste bitter to you? Kind of, yeah. yeah it's like a coffee has a... Again, I've only been drinking coffee for about five years, so... Okay, you know well, I need to try the Starbucks. You know what it tastes like? I gotta go back and forth. It tastes like a find... really strong tea. It yeah, has it. a little bit of a tea flavor to it. Really? Yeah. Probably because I don't drink coffee black, it tastes like a strong tea. Like a really, really strong tea. I can no? kind of see what you mean by that, but like... But yeah, but again, I don't drink black yeah. coffee. No, we're going to do In between. Uh, a little bit of uh, Johnny Walker Blue. I don't know if this will cleanse a palate, but I think <laughs> it's, it's, I, since, I, since we're doing... Um, I don't think it's going to cleanse any palates, but it'll taste great. But in between. Have you yeah. had this before? Uh, I don't believe I have. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Not plastic. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh. <laughs> Only the finest on KBU production. That's good stuff. Mm. I could just chug that bottle right now. Oh. Just for you. How much so is a bottle of, of Johnny Walker or Johnny? Well, the twenty-six uh, ounce blue label is uh, three hundred dollars. So oh, that's a forty ounce. This is a forty ounce. So, so I'd be pushing. Now your standard party gift, eh? And All we'll right. Try the Starbucks. So was, that's your copy. That's uh, my copy. Okay. So my did you want to try a Starbucks? But yeah. don't mix your. Actually, not the most right? though. You guys kind of stopped at like you know yay. As I'm going through it, it gets less and less bitter as I'm going through it. You know, like give it a few more sips. Very, very different flavor. It reminds me when I was at the uh, the sipping at Tim Hortons, yeah. and they had all these different coffees, and they were like, and you had to like <laughs> suck it in so it, it, it yeah. like kind of vaporized into, and it hit everything in your mouth at the same really? time. It was a really neat experience. It's interesting. S also, sitting with these like professional I don't know if you coffee. see those at the bottom. Oh, little, little, little shit pellets. Oh no, it's nice. Check out the For shit the, pellets. You got the shit pellets. This is definitely like milder. So this is the Starbucks one? Mm -hmm. It's like watered down coffee compared to what you just drank. That's yeah. my opinion. So <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Do it. It's not hot anymore. But I should oh, yeah. what, what, what have um definitely watered down. <laughs> this is like super mild compared to the Kopi. Like the Kopi had a lot of rich flavor. This one's just like yeah, lots of this is this is like a punch in the face type coffee with the flavors and I need to drink more. It's not. Or I need to want some more. Oh, I want some more Kopi Luwak. <laughs> I'm not passing. So, that up. what I if I was really really smart about this, I would have had a second mocha pot and did the exact same proportion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, this is really nice, and I probably could drink that every single day. I couldn't afford to drink that every single day, but yeah, you'd be broke. I like it, but yeah, at that price, you're yeah, like, I'd, yeah, I'd like to try a bunch of top. other coffees that are done on the same system, because it would have been interesting if you threw the co Kopi Luwak to this, yeah. if it would have done it any justice. The more I drink it, though, the more I like it. Yeah, like, me I, too. I almost feel like I've got a slight addiction I, to the um, to the, the coffee flavor. I keep taking sips to like, I just want to re refill that, that explosion. And, and what's really uh, pushed this whole thing is, is the bucket list with um, yeah, Morgan Freeman, Morgan and, Freeman um, and Jack, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. So Jack Nicholson at the beginning of the movie, they're both dying of cancer. Uh, he's in the hospital and of course he's rich. And, uh, well, he keeps drinking the Kopi. He yeah. talk about Luwak. And he's like, why coffee. you drink that? Well, it's the most expensive coffee in the world. And the reason he drinks it is because it's expensive. But I think in the beginning he says the finest beverage. Well, it's the finest beverage. So I have to look it up just to but see. But he didn't know where it came from or what it was. He knew it was obviously coffee, but he didn't know where it came from. And, of course, Morgan Freeman researches it, finds out that it's, the it's poop. Cat and it's pooped out. Mm -hmm. and, he, and, of course, the big punchline is he says, you're shitting me. Yeah. And he says, the cat beat me to it. And they break down. And they break down. And they cry, which is pretty he scratches off his bucket list. Off. Yeah, uh, laugh uh, belly laugh. Cry. Or no, laugh, laugh till you cry. cry is his bucket list. Anyway, well, thank you very much for this very nice treat, Paul. Cheers. Got I'm glad, I'm glad to have sh uh, shared yeah, this with say, you. Is there any left in here? Because we don't want to waste. Oh, it's I can all... see if I can squeeze out a single drop. Look at it. Oh, oh, it's all yours, buddy. There's $40 Bring, worth. Pass the <laughs> Bring the... So if you guys want to try it, and you want to, uh, got the money again, for it. <laughs> if you got the money for it, if you want to share it with a bunch of people, that's basically the best way to do it. So, 
Yeah, split it because if you buy it in larger quantities, it's cheaper. Right. So the, the best way would be buy a pound and split it up with. Uh, so Kopi Luwak, uh, you could probably get it online as well. You can buy it online. I was a little bit skeptical because then you don't know really where what you're getting from. or what. I think there's uh, if you you can research online, there's, they'll they'll list reputable coffee companies so that you know right. you're not getting sort of taken. Yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is another Thirsty Thursdays. If you like really cool, interesting Thirsty Thursdays like, like this, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another one. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank Mark Andre. Thank you for having me. Definitely, <laughs> definitely thank Paul oh, for forking out the cash on that Ooh. one. <laughs> that was a really nice treat. Uh, I'm glad you guys figured out where to get it and finally got to try it. Oh, that's good scotch. I mean, that's good Kobe <laughs> Duak. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding and we'll see you next time on another Can Paul Marc-Andre Thirsty Thursdays. Can Paul Marc-Andre out. <laughs>